So now we are going to see uh, soft tissue techniques uh, for patients uh, with myalgia. Uh, we, first of all, uh, we would like to make sure that the patient is in a, a relaxed position. Uh, we are going to ask the patient to relax. I'm going to work first on the temporalis muscle. So it's, uh, it goes from the uh, temporal fossa to the coronoid process of the mandible uh, and to be sure that I'm on the good muscle I'm going to ask my patient to clinch and I can feel a contraction then I'm going to um, look for a, a tender or a painful spot and when um, my patient um, tells me that he is having um, a pain in a specific area I'm going to work on it so I can do um, a transverse friction like that or I can work also uh, on, the, on the longitudinal um, way by following the muscle's fibers or I can stay on the spot and work like that, doing circular movements. I can do the same thing uh, on the masseter, so I can look for the masseter by, by looking to this muscle which goes from the, the zygomatic arch to the lateral angle of the mandible and to confirm that I'm on the good muscle, I'm going to ask my patient to cleanse again and relax. Okay, and then I'm looking for a painful spot and uh, we are going to um, find the spot by uh, looking for feedbacks with my patient and then we're going to do transverse friction or longitudinal frictions or stretching or circular movements on the muscle. We would recommend to work on each muscle for three minutes um, and uh, we are always looking for uh, uh, monitoring the patient's symptoms. Okay, so now I'm going to show a hold and relax technique. So first of all, I'm going to explain my patient what I am going to do. So we are going to open your mouth together. I'm going to put my thumb on your lower teeth uh, and we are going to open your mouth. I'm going to ask you uh, to clinch a little bit and then relax and then we're going to stretch together. We're we will not be able to communicate, so if you have anything, just show me your hand. I'm going to okay. uh, stop the technique. Okay, so open your mouth. I'm going to put my thumb uh, on the lower teeth. Then we are going to open together the mouth. Perfect. And now try to close a little bit your mouth, just yeah, gently and relax. And let me stretch a little bit more. So I'm trying to open a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to ask my patient to hold six seconds again. Try to close your mouth. And relax. I feel that he totally relaxed and then I can add a new stretch. and then we're going to come back. So this is a good technique if you feel that your patient is restricted in uh, mouth opening uh, with uh, muscle guarding uh, or if you want to decrease muscle, uh, masticatory muscle tension. So the next technique is a joint technique. Uh, we are going to do uh, oscillatory movement on the TMJ. So first, I'm going to uh, see where is the 
condylar process of the mandible. So I'm think, I think it's here, but I'm going to check it by asking the patient to open and close the mouth so I can feel the um, uh, condylar process moving and relax. Then I'm going to put my thumbs just here and I'm going to do uh, accessory muscle. So I'm going to push in the medial direction and, can, and I can do different grades of mobilization depending on the patient's symptoms. And usually we can do several sets between 30 seconds to two minutes. Okay, so the next technique is a motor control technique uh, in order to help my patient to keep an opening pattern in the sagittal plan, I'm going to give him some feedbacks with my hands and eventually with a mirror. So I'm going to put my hands on the uh, mandible and I'm going to ask my patient to open and close the mouth. And with my hands, I'm going to help him to stay in the sagittal plan. In addition, during the movement, I can add some caudal and forward glide and stay like that. Uh, it could help to uh, reduce the pain during the mouth opening process.